All right. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. Terry Luongo here. And greetings from very warm, steamy hot Oregon. <laughs> and uh, I think everywhere I go, it's 100 degrees. If I'm in Texas, it's 100 degrees. If I go to Colorado, it's 100 degrees. If I'm up in Oregon, it's 100 degrees. So in any case, it's warm and steamy here, but I'm telling you, I'm so excited about being with you tonight because tonight's broadcast is going to be used as a tool for teaching and educating on a topic that I've become very passionate about, and that is how to properly use Facebook Messenger. And we're very specifically tonight going to share, Abby Nowlin and myself and Camelia Parker and myself, we're gonna talk about two different aspects of Facebook Messenger that can grow your business if you become involved. The first one, is using it as the intro for that three-way connection call. We know that three-way connection calls can explode business, okay? And what we found is that Facebook Messenger is the perfect, perfect way to start that in a safe environment. We're gonna mute everybody. Thank you. It's a safe environment and a comfortable environment for new partners or partners that want to re-engage. And then we're gonna talk about Facebook Messenger and how to create events on Facebook Messenger. So I'm excited. So first and foremost, let's get start about Facebook Messenger and how for me, it's the new three-way connection call. We know, and so I'm gonna ask Abby to unmute herself. Abby Darling, you know that three-way calls is the perfect way to get a new partner or a prospect to hear somebody else's story. So you probably used uh, Facebook Messenger for that three-way connection more than anyone on the team. You utilize me, you utilize Jamie Cantrell. Talk to us about what it's done for you and you, could you show us how to implement it on our phones? Absolutely. Um, hi everybody, good evening. My name is Abby Nowlin for those of you that don't know me. Um, and I'm excited to talk to you about um, Facebook Messenger group texts, basically is what they are, um, group messages with um, using your upline or someone, um, you know, that you trust and can speak and share their story on the product yourself and the person that you want to share with. Um, this has become a new and easy way to share stories with people. And we always talk about, um, you know, third party validation. And this is the way to do that without having to, for me to call Terry and say, hey, Terry, can you carve out 30 minutes on your schedule for us to set up a time to talk with so-and-so? Um, Terry gets to do this on her time. The person that's listening gets to listen on their time. Um, and my job is to connect them um, so that Terry or whoever you're using can be um, the speaker and affirm their decision and share the story. So um, I'll be honest with you, I felt um, a little bit nervous about this concept at first. It felt a little weird to me to just put someone in a three-way group message. Um, but it's now just, <clears throat> excuse me, a part of the way that I do it. I really don't um, unless I'm already very deep in a conversation with someone, I do not ask their permission to add them. I just do it. And I have never, ever had someone come to me and say, I am so pissed that you shared someone else's story with me, or I'm so pissed that you added me to a group text. Um, it's always, and even if they don't respond, here's the other thing I'm going to say to you, they're listening. Not everybody always feels comfortable respond. And Terry will agree with that. She's sent many a messages where maybe the person I've connected them with did not respond, but they listened and they came back and they were like, okay, that was great. I'm so glad I heard her story. And most of the time they're ready to get started. Um, I do this on Instagram um, as well. And so don't feel like you're just limited to it in Facebook. If you're on Instagram and wanna use that platform, you can do it there too. I'm gonna tell you to use, utilize the service wherever the person that you're talking to is most comfortable slash where you're having the conversation with them. So like if you're on Instagram or if you're on text, I would encourage you to start it there because it would be kind of weird for you just to go to another platform and start this three-way message. 
the point is you're connecting them with other people um, and you want them to hear uh, someone else's story. So this has been a huge business builder for me. I, I add Terry probably close to daily to a, a group message with someone. Um, and it's been a game changer for me. And so I'm just going to tell you, if you're not utilizing this aspect of your business to connect people, just do it because you literally have nothing to lose. Um, and I've, I have connected a lot of people. And so I get maybe having a hesitant hesitancy and fear that people are going to be thrown off by you just throwing them in a message with someone, but I'm telling you, I've literally never had someone get mad. Um, so I would say just jump in and do it. So I'm going to walk you through kind of what this process looks like. And I'm, I am going to send, um, a, a three-way message example here, like I'm actually doing it and you are more than welcome to use this verbiage, take what you like, um, use something, you know, you can take bits and pieces of it. So what you're gonna do is you're in the messenger app on your phone. I'm just gonna use the messenger as um, the example here. And in the top, um, it's gonna be right, right corner, left on the screen, you're gonna just click the little box, right? Let's see, can you see? It's in the top right there. There you go, click that right there. And then what you're gonna do is I'm gonna type in Terry's name and then I'm gonna type in Sarah Winstead. Um, she's a girl on my team and I'm just gonna send this um, example message. So I've got my people, I've got Terry and Sarah in this group message and I'm gonna come down. Um, you can send a text if you would prefer, if you're in an environment maybe where you can't send a voice message, but you just need to get the conversation started. Don't feel afraid to type something out. Um, you could take exactly what I'm going to say and type it out, but I use the voice message. I keep it to under a minute unless there is some weird reason I need to go over because the person that's sharing their story is already going to have more than one minute messages. So I don't want it to be too overwhelming for the person coming in um, and listening. So then you're just going to click this little right next to the text box is this little like voice, like a microphone. You're just going to click that. And here is typically um, how I would start a message. So. Hey everybody, I am so excited. Sarah, meet Terry. Terry, meet Sarah. I am so excited for the three of us to connect. Terry, Sarah, and I met each other years ago. We are actually childhood friends and her and I have recently connected, reconnected, um, and we're chatting about Juice Plus and she has shared her story with me and her struggles with really wanting to strengthen um, her immune system. And so I knew Terry that you could speak to this um, and your story would be a great affirmation for Sarah in looking at the product. And so Sarah, I'm excited for you to meet Terry. I've known her for years. She's a dear friend of mine. And, the re and regardless of if you decide to get started with Juice Plus, we want our community to be an encouragement and a blessing to you. And so we hope that this is a great resource um, full of information and encouragement. So Terry, I'll let you take it away. Thanks so much, ladies. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye. And that's what I do. That's the message. That was 55 seconds. Um, I share, I bring the person, because I usually don't typically tell Terry that I'm adding her to a message. I just do it. So that's why it's really important to give the person that you're adding to the message background on who they're speaking to, because otherwise they have no idea what they're walking into. So you want to just set the stage so that the person that you've added as the third person in the message, not um, the prospect, knows, you know, who they're talking to, gives you a little bit of a background, you know, and I, if somebody shared a lot of information with me about their health, I'll usually just scratch the surface and give the highlight points. Um, Cause I also don't want someone to feel like I'm just exposing all that they shared with me. Um, I want them to feel safe, you know, that they trusted me with pieces of their story. Um, so I'll give the, the key points and then um, move on. So that is the three-way message on um, Facebook. And Terry, is there anything else that you wanted me to hit on? No, but I think Abby, what I, what I love about how we do the three-way calls is that if you put someone on a three-way connection uh, message with me, uh, I'm gonna tell my story. And this is important for all of you because you all wanna become leaders. What I do is I tell my story and then I'll go, well, hey, that's enough about me. If it's a prospect, tell me more about you. 
I want to pull them in. I want to see how many of them come in and talk to me. So if it's somebody that we're talking to about the business, Abby wants them to hear my product story and business story. You know, I'll talk for about a minute, minute and a half, and then stop. It's enough about me. Tell me about you. You know, what are your health goals? Uh, you know, have you ever thought of having your own business? Uh, what did Abby say to you that intrigued you enough to be on this call with me today? Uh, I'm fascinated uh, by you. Okay, so, so those are some of the kinds of things because I want to hear from them. If we can pull them into the conversation, then Abby can pretty much disappear. Okay, it's me and that person going back and forth. All right, so, and, and, and if Abby wants just very specific a health conversation, we're gonna stay with the health conversation. But if Abby was looking for someone who had a, an experience with asthma, she wouldn't come to me. She would do that three-way connection with someone who's had a great experience with overcoming asthma. If she's looking for someone who's had a cancer experience, she's not gonna to come to me. She's gonna connect that person with someone who's had, you know, positive experience with dealing with cancer. I'm gonna tell you the way we utilize this three-way messenger, it will absolutely build your customer base and it will also solidify your customer base. And then more and more of these customers become prospects. So it's also becoming masterful as that validator mm -hmm. as when to stop talking about me as the validator and open it up to see where can I continue this conversation? How can I engage this person? So tell me more about you. Positive way to do that. Abby, I love doing these calls with you. We're gonna keep it up. And I hope that this has been beneficial and helpful to all of you out there in terms of creating three-way chats to build your customer base and to validate already your existing customers. All right. Abby, thank you, so masterful. All right, now guys, the other thing that I've been bragging on for two months now is how, once again, Abby and I have been using Facebook Messenger to create events. And so I have asked Pamelia to partner with us with this because Pamelia has used uh, this uh, Messenger system, Facebook Messenger, to create events. And she got so excited about presenting that she has put together an incredible PowerPoint presentation so that you can all become masterful at this too. All right, Camelia, whenever you are ready, because this is a great teaching tool. I am ready. And um, Abby, that was amazing because I literally felt the fear subside on three ways. So that was awesome. Thank you so much. Um, all right, let's hope we can do this. So can everybody hear me and can everybody see the screen? Okay. So Facebook Messenger events, right? Let's take the stress out of these. And um, I'm going to talk about getting started, okay? I do this like Abby, we do it in Facebook Messenger because um, the, we have not figured out how to create Facebook Messenger groups anyhow. Um, so going forward here, you open up your Facebook Messenger on your phone and you select the Messenger icon, which is in the top right and looks like a wave. And that was the same way that Abby was saying. Next, all you have to do, you'll be brought to this screen and you select the little pen and paper that's in the upper right hand corner. That's what I call it, I don't know. Once you've gotten to there, here, you're going to see create a new group and you're going to click on there and when you get that, you'll see where it says um, group name optional, but you can put in your group name. So I love that Abby is always put in one simple change, Juice Plus, and then she has the red, the green, the purple, and the orange heart, which is the colors of Juice Plus, um, which you'll see right there. But you can choose whatever you're doing. It could be a family health study. You could do a Shred 10. You can do anything in here. Um, it's so important though, when you do that and you put in the name and you're like, I can't create it. You have to, have to add at least two members 
before you can click on create and before it will let you, all right? So that's important, don't forget that. And those will probably be the two speakers because normally this is set up by someone who's restarting or a new rep that you have coming on and this will make it all very simple. So here's your group. Here you can add the new members. They can view it at any time. Even if you add someone at the end of this, they can easily go back and they can see everything that's there. So the event, have someone do a short welcome, usually the rep, once you've created the event, do this before you've done it, um, before you started adding people. Sorry, Sarah, for the picture, that was what was up there. And you create it in the morning of this, you have person one and person two, that would be Abby and Terry, and you have them put up their picture and their bio about two hours apart so that the people in the event start getting notices, you know, that they have a Facebook Messenger notice. Keep asking and adding people throughout the whole day. The evening of, you'll have someone get on and they'll get them all excited for the evening. It says, hello, lovelies, get excited for this evening. Everything starts at 7.30 and this is getting people ready. Person one is going to welcome all, introduce the video, the first one, it can be the Farm Fresh, Dr. Mitra, what is Juice Plus? Um, we usually like to put Dr. Mitra after the research, which you'll see, it's always very effective that way. So then, person number two is going to tell their stories. Some people can do a minute, some can do two minutes. Um, there's different phones, let different things going. It has nothing to do with iPhone or Android. We haven't quite figured it out, so. That's where it is. You want to keep it simple. You want to stay on point two, three minutes at the most. So next, have person one introduce the video on research. And here's the verbiage. And I have all the verbiage saved for you at the end of this, so not to worry. And the pictures. So that person puts in the research. And next, you want the host of this to make sure that they thanked person number one for sharing their story. We wanna show how, just how warm the community is. Like I said, we like to put Mitra after the research because she talks about immune health, which is a huge topic, as it says here. There's the verbiage, there's the video. Next, we're gonna get person number one. Sorry, Abby, about the pictures, that's what we're showing. And have the rep make sure that they thank um, person number one for sharing their story. And last but not least, we found that adding, so why Juice Plus at the end? We did this in another one, was very effective. And what's best for them? We have different ways to package this, whether it's the fruits, veggies, and berries, the quad, just the berries, the complete, and then a short video explaining how they could be a customer or they could just get it to get a discount or they could be a rep as well and to meet them where they're at and where they're ready. So, the helpful items, that's it. It's so simple. Here's the farm fresh nutrition verbiage with the video, the research for verbiage. It's so easy to do this and you can keep adding people after it. You can create the event you want and need and then you always have it. It's, it's very simple and it's not selling it to people. It's just telling them and educating them. There's a little more verbiage here for Dr. Mitra Ray and so why the juice plus verbiage, and that's it. I mean, it's that simple. So there you have it. All right. I absolutely love this PowerPoint and I love that we're gonna be able to share this with everybody so that they can move forward. Look at Judy Strickler, yes, wow. Look at her hands up. Um, you know, guys, I just think that this is the tool that if we all get good at this, there is no way this is not going to explode your business. Um, does anybody have, you know what, uh, Pamelia, stop recording and we'll see if anybody has questions, okay? We're going to stop.